Hello friends, it's nice to see you. Today we're going to be digging deep into dirt. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, Mrs. Colazar, I know everything about dirt. But keep in mind, with dirt there's more than meets the eye. So this story is a non-fiction story, it means it's real. Um, story called Dirt, The Scoop on Soil. It's written by Natalie M. Rosinski, and the pictures are by Sherry Boyd. Okay, here's the table of contents. A lot of nonfiction stories have that. It shows what's inside. What is dirt made of? Dig deep. Unearth some dirt. Hold it in your hand. Dirt is a mix of different parts of nature. Crumbling rocks make up dirt. Wriggling worms make up dirt. And scurrying bugs live in dirt. Rotting plants and bones are part of dirt too. Fun fact, dirt cover covers almost every place on earth. Sometimes you can't see the dirt because it's covered by grass, buildings, roads, or water. Soil is another word for dirt. Put some soil into a big glass jar and fill it with water. Stir it up and then wait. The soil will separate into layers, humus, clay, silt, sand, and rocks and pebbles. Rocks and pebbles fall to the bottom because they're the heaviest. A lot of soil is made of rock. Fun fact, dirt is so interesting that soil scientists study it every day. Sand, silt, and clay are all tiny pieces of rock that make up soil. The layer on top of the rocks and pebbles is sand. Grains of sand don't fit closely together. Water runs quickly through the spaces between them. That's why sand is so dry and why sandcastles crumble so fast when waves wash over them. You can use a magnifying glass to see the rainbow colors hidden in sand. Each grain has its own color, black, tan, gray, red, green, or even purple. Silt is sort of like sand, only silt's grains are even smaller. Grains of silt fit more closely together and hold more water. Soft, sticky clay has even smaller grains than silt. You need a microscope to see grains of clay. Clay is almost like powder. Clay is what made the water in your jar turned cloudy. Fun fact. Clay can be red, yellow, white, tan, gray, black, or even blue. People use clay to mold beautiful plates and bowls. You might see flecks flooding on top of the cloudy water. That's the dark and gooey part of soil called humus. Humus is made from rotting plants, leaves, wood, and animal matter. Sticky humus helps hold the rocky parts of soil together. Humus is rich with food that plants need to grow green and tall. Soil is different in different places. Garden soil is soft and clumpy. It is, good to, it is a good mix of humus, sand, silt, and clay. Forest soil is often damp, full of humus from dead leaves. Soil in muddy riverbed is soft with silt, and desert soil is sandy and dry. It's alive! There are millions of creatures that live in soil. Beetles, sow bugs, millipedes, and worms wriggle and crawl through the dirt. Other creatures are so small you can't even see them. These soil creatures are called decomposers. Decomposers make humus. They eat dead plants and then leave droppings. The droppings are like vitamins for the plants that grow in the soil. Fun fact, as plants grow in soil, they use up the food in humus. 
decomposers put more food back into the humus. Animals can make soil even better for plants in another way. Squiggling worms, trailing snakes, sn trailing snails, slithering snakes, and burrowing rabbits loosen the soil as they crawl through. They make holes in the soil that let air and water reach the roots of thirsty plants. After it rains, you can see the worms wriggling along the ground. The rainwater has filled up the empty spaces in the soil, so the worms have to crawl out to find air to breathe. Keeping dirt healthy. Humus, water, and air are usually found in the upper layer of soil. This layer of soil is called topsoil. It's the best soil for planting. The roots of plants hold topsoil together. Plants and trees cover topsoil so it won't get blown away by wind or carried off by rain. The loss of topsoil is called erosion. When topsoil erodes, plants have no place to grow. Not so fun fact. When plants use up the food in topsoil, people can replace some of the food by adding manure or chemicals. Chemical food works for a little while but it can kill some of the decomposers that live inside of dirt. With fewer decomposers, it takes longer to make new dirt, depending on dirt. Dirt helps keep us alive. Without dirt, plants cannot grow. Without plants, animals can't eat. Without plants and animals, people would have no food. Dig into dirt, pile it up and stomp it down. Let it squish between your toes. Let it sift between your fingers. As you walk along, remember all those incredible bits of nature holding you up. Ooh, man, there's some cool experiments and fast facts at the end. Creeping deserts. Some of Earth's deserts used to be thick forests, but when people cut down or burn forests on thin topsoil, the dirt is blown or washed away. As soil is lost, plants stop growing. Plants hold the water in the air close to the ground. They also provide shade and keep soil from drying out. Without plants, the land dries out and becomes a desert. In the 30s, in the United States, there was very little rain. Farmers had not been using careful farming practices and lost much of their topsoil. Dust storms developed. The, the, the storms were so bad that cattle started dying from breathing in the dirt. Dirt from the Midwest blew all the way to Washington, D.C. After the dust storms, farmers planted trees along the edges of their fields. You can see those up here. We call them shelter belts. Today, when you drive through the country, you can see them lining the fields. Drifting dirt. Erosion wipes away thousands of tons of topsoil each year. Winds blow away the soil, or rain washes it into rivers and streams. Erosions can also wear away rocks. The Grand Canyon was formed by river water wearing away at hard rock for thousands of years. Wow, it was really fun learning about dirt today. A fun thing that you can do is take um, a magnifying glass and look closely at dirt. See what you can see. Or you can try out the experiment they talked about in the story where you put some dirt in a jar with some water and watch the layers separate. Have fun and I'll see you soon.